Hey guys, welcome back to a new video here in 2024. The last one I uploaded was talking about Halloween Horror Nights and some things are changing. Back again with a video. It's been miserable here in Florida. A little too cold for my life. I'm actually wearing a hoodie today. It is a little cold outside, but we're here at SeaWorld Orlando. It does look like they have done some updates. Looks like they just paved. Even going back over there, looks like they just paved some things around. Make it look a little nicer. Let's make our way into the park. A lot of updates are happening. Let's do this. It's been a while, but the SeaWorld tour is the first. And it looks like they got 2024 merch right off the bat. Dirty time. Kind of got the uh, Sweet Stallion, the Coffee Coaster, the Sea Rescue, and they got a lot of Sesame Street stuff out here right now. Including some hoodies or some little kid headwear. About $27 looks like for this Oscar the Grouch. One of the Cookie Monsters for Tallers for so mittens for $37. And oh well, 26. Very nice. This way to pipeline. Oh man, that sounds bright. Oh, they haven't switched it over yet. Hopefully soon. Waterfront. And there's a lot of updates we're gonna do here today. It looks like they are getting ready for uh, the Seven Seas Food Festival. It does look like the only holiday stuff up that's left are the uh, snowflake flags. And they're all throughout the park. Other than that, all the Christmas stuff is down. This also looks to be new too as well. I'm not sure what it's for though. And here is Penguin Tech. Wow, they've done a lot of work since last time I've actually been here. Oh wow, it goes all the way over now. A whole lot more work has been done to it. We're probably gonna do a dedicated video to this sometime, maybe during the week. Uh, Sky Tower, which was right there, had a pretty long wait, but wow, they've done a lot. Also, it looks like the uh, Seaport Market is closed today. Could have been open earlier, but now they are closed. Show some mentions. It's about 7 o'clock at night. Sorry, around like 4.35 o'clock. Wow, look at Pangolin Tech. It is coming along. I would not be shocked if this was ready for March, April, May. March, April, May. Okay, Thank you. right outside of just uh, where Manta is, they're doing a an inside look of the aquariums. They also have a QR code there and you can just wait right there. They're doing this all throughout the park as well. Not sure exactly when this opened up, but it looks like Rita's is now open here at SeaWorld. Very cool to see this. Very fantastic and awesome to see as well. By the way, we're just making our way over to Antarctica real quick. As well, just give you guys a heads up. Oh, here's where the... Looks like they'll... There we go. Looks like the walls had to get pushed out a whole lot more now. Here's where the crane is. And that's where the last piece of track is at. Oh. You can scan a QR code right there. Into the back of the park we are. Journey to Atlantis has all the water drained from it. You can see walls up right over there. 
and even at the main entrance here this down for their a little bit of a refurbishment time period this should open up just pick the balloon to get it refurbished back up just had a camera malfunction uh cracking it is open a lot of people are back here for it it's at a 35 minute wait not too bad but now we're gonna be on our way to antarctica and look at this there are construction walls leading into antarctica and it still says happy holidays on here i wonder if anything has changed back here since the last time i was back here And not from on the ground, you get a better look at that first launch over in the Penguin Tech. Oh, wow. I think a lot of families are going to love this. This is a family coaster for everybody to know. Very cool to see. And really nothing, not that much changes back here neither. I'm, I'm still taking a while to guess because from where that first launch is, is that they're going to use the old Empire of the Penguins, probably Q. And probably showroom as well for this penguin tech coaster so i wouldn't be against if sometime the next couple months they actually put a wall up so they can change signage around fix up the wait times too as well so see real spectacular ended months ago and i now just realized that there's still a leaf hanging in the trees Wow. And every time I've been here, I never even noticed it. That's the first time I noticed something like that. I mean, it's hanging in there more than a Toronto Maple Leafs. Also here in the waterfront, it tells you from 11 to 6 p.m. January 13th to the 15th and 20th, 20th to the 21st. Here's everything you guys get into too as well. Very cool to see that. So just be on the lookout and alert that if you want to do this, looks like it's an exclusive weekend thing only. So get it done while you can because it'd be really cool to see what the aquariums look like. There's a couple that I've always wanted to see and one would be Shark Encounter. Looks like Shark Encounters is somewhere over here. Mako is sitting at an hour wait. Very interesting to see that. Normally it always sits at a five. And it looks like there is another show here. It goes, Seals Look Inside presents Seals of the Future. Like I said, cause this is kind of on the cooler side today. Infinity Falls is only five minutes. Maybe a walk on looks like. I don't know anybody who would want to ride this today. It is cold out here. And before anybody from New York, New Jersey, anybody from up the Northeast saying, or even up North saying, buddy, you don't know what real cold is. We went far for about 10 years. You kind of get to feel it. So outside of the birds and the SeaWorld uh, Dining Wish and Moo experience, I haven't done that since I was a kid. I definitely like to do this again. Looks like uh, the whales are out and about too. That's what the large clouds about are about over here. Large crowds. You know that car is just out there. It is just chilling right there. In other words, the Sh Shamu Stadium is closed for refurbishing. I'm not sure. If, oh my God, that sound was brutal. I'm not sure for how long, but it is down for some refurbishing. Looks like there's another research station right here. The QR code. Not sure what it's for though. And now that we're entering Sesame Street. I don't know if he's meeting right now. Hope he is. But next weekend is Elmo's birthday. It is Elmo's birthday celebration. I got to do it last year. It was a lot of fun. I highly, highly recommend to everybody around us. Let me see. 
Oh, yep. There's the birthday boy right there. Be alert. Next weekend starts Animal's birthday celebration. And I think that's just what's happening at SeaWorld over here at Sesame Street. Um, we will probably come back sometime during the during the week. It's just, just due to the fact that I don't see nothing really truly set up for Ses for Elmo ce celebration. I also wonder if somebody's home. Why don't you go scram to the foodie truck and enjoy Cookie Monster and Donner instead, huh? Uh, I don't think nobody's home. It does also look like they're also getting set up for the Seven Seed Food Festival. And I think with the Seven Seas Food Festival, these tables will go perfectly fine with it. Little kid play area right here for them to enjoy themselves with. It's a family fun zone. Nothing happening here for a while. And Icebreaker is only sitting at a 30 minute wait. Not too bad. Right, looks like they're having a sale going on. Inside instead of outside. Gosh, I think this is actually perfect to have sales in, and they brought the cranes and game machines back. Oh wow! Look at this! Look at this! Taking a little note from uh, Disney Universal. I like it. Like to going with a, a one church wig and president. Okay, I know it's Badoo, but I call him president. And I actually do have a Nintendo Switch, and I'll show you why I call him president. Okay, guys, are you ready to see why I call him president now? Because it's a shiny. <laughs> well, if you really wanted a Nintendo Switch, PS5 or an Xbox. Until next time. Looks like I got a dipping dash sitting right here. A little cold to have it out, so. It's also getting a little more colder outside. So I think we have to beach real quick. And then we'll call it a day. Because normally I start going, normally when I do start my serial videos, this is the way I normally come, but. So I think next time we come here. And the sun is setting over there too as well. Two for pipeline to go by and it looks like they're building something right here. Curious to know what it is. Well, if that's the back of the line for pipeline. It is at almost an hour wait. No, no, no. It's 50 minute wait, not an hour. And honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if it is. I would not be shocked if it is even close to being an hour. It's not backed up. Okay, guys. I am out of here. It is actually really starting to get cold outside. I'm freezing right now. And I am ready. You go home, warm up, go have dinner. It is cold out here, but I'll see you guys in the next one sometime during the week.